Well, the time has come. It is time to declare a winner for the Otero 85 VC 100 subs contest. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that watched and participated. And I even noticed that there was a lot of dialogue uh, from those of you that didn't take part in it, but you enjoyed the, uh, the contest. So thank you for being a part of that. Um, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the names that submitted one, talk about something I like from each of them, uh, encourage you guys to check out those channels, and then we're going to pick a winner um, here in just a couple minutes for $30 on Amazon and get that out to them this week. But again, I appreciate it. And so right when I hit 100 subs, I shot this video. I think it was like four or five weeks. I wanted to give everybody plenty of time to make their uh, entry. And I'm at 160 already. And so thank you. You guys just sharing what you like about the channel, uh, what you appreciate. You guys said a lot of kind things. And um, a couple things I picked up. I'm a little bit maybe uh, over energetic for a few people. But I'm also a positive person. I have a nice listening area and a nasty garage. Um, what else did I learn? Um, people pick up on little jokes going a long way. I'm glad you guys are catching on to my sarcasm. Some people find it extremely offensive, but um, you guys appreciate the awkward silence. So um, you're my people. I'm getting to know you guys and um, reaching out with a few of you. And uh, so anyway, <laughs> all right, let's get started. Um, Alex is going to be helping me out today. And I think the best way to do this, you want to say hi? You can come over here and look. Come over here. Oh, Alex broke his arm last week, so that's a real bummer. You want to tell him what happened? Um, I was at a football field, and I scored a touchdown, and somebody jumped on me. And I'm just kidding. I fell off a stool. He fell off a stool. Like, literally just fell off a stool onto the floor and broke his arm. I should have a better story. And Mom and Dad were bad parents because we were at the uh, John Mayer concert. Dude. And the babysitter's like, his arm's hurt. And we're like, he's fine. There's no bruising. But sure enough, the next day it was broken. We felt horrible. And I passed out. He did pass out. The concert was great, though. So that's good, Don't right? Don't talk about the concert. Talk about my arm. Oh, your arm's more important. See, we'll, we'll get this. We'll figure out this parenting thing. All right. Thanks, Alex. You can go back over here. All right. So I'm going to just start going through these a little bit. No particular order. Don't you break the other arm. Uh -huh. He just fell down. <laughs> All right. Up first is Paul with... X Junkie XL. I'm going to try to hold these in so you guys can see them. Um, and I don't know how well I'm doing with this. Hopefully you can see that all right. But anyway, I really enjoyed his channel. And especially just the way he um, talks through the movement of different genres. Uh, his jazz collection is ridiculous. Um, and he's very kind as well. Paul, you'll be happy to know we did clean out a good bit of the garage. And it might even be... It might even be up to par for you here soon. Um, but he went through this whole jazz funk thing um, and just the progression of it. And what is so weird to me and interesting to me is that when um, these genres would start up, the 80s killed so many genres. I was thinking about this. Um, so you had the jazz funk scene where you saw this happen. Um, and definitely the there's just kind of a little bit of a resurgence with some of the artists he was saying there at the end. But he started out with like the Ramsey Trio and, and some of that stuff, which I picked up some of that this last week because of watching your video. Um, but once it got to the 80s, then everything seemed to start dying out. And I remember watching the Rush documentary not too long ago. It was on Netflix. And the similar thing happened to them. They got into the 80s. And the new wave post-punk stuff, they saw it hit. And it's almost like they just kind of bit at it because culturally there was so much taking place. Culture was shifting hard in the 80s. And that's when you see a lot more keys. And I feel like Rush lost a little bit of their sound. Some people will fight me on that if you're a big Rush fan. But, but you look throughout, and, and I love the way that you just followed that. So anyway, I thought that was really interesting with yours. Up next, we have... All right, so I'm, let me do this right. Alex, let me see the hat. We're putting this in the hat. I cannot see it. Should I fold it? That's probably a little more legit if I fold it. I'm folding it. I'm putting it in the hat. Alex, you hold the hat. All right? Don't mess with anything, all right? Up next, we have Billy Hurst. Billy! Billy Hurst! Billy's the man because uh, I won one of his contests not too long ago and got a Doors album. So, pumped about that. Billy is what you call a good human being. I just like Billy. He's a good guy. Um, as somebody that's a music artist, you just kind of see that he um, can feel music. He's one of those guys where you could maybe look at some of his collection that's not like, if he picked some obscure albums, you know they would be good because the guy feels music. Um, 
and he tends to lend towards artists where you can feel that they're completely invested in their music. Um, he has really good taste, um, and it's awesome that it, he did his whole challenge with country, although I would have written in somewhere in there uh, Don Williams as an honorable mention, but I don't like honorable mentions, so that's fine. Billy Hurst, good job. The only issue with Billy is congratulations on your new job, but or did you have to work for the St. Louis Cardinals? I mean, of all the cardinal sins. <laughs> I'm so punny. All right, hold the hat out, dropping it in. I want him to see. Come on, reach out here. Don't break your arm. All right, boom. Billy's in there. By the way, Billy, I'll have you know this is a Cincinnati Red Legs hat. <laughs> my hat. That's my son's. All right, up next we have Andy's Vinyl Den. Thank you, Andy, for being a part of this. Andy, you're one of the first guys that I heard, and if I'm not mistaken, you're a guy that's changed your name a few times. But I think I've been watching your channel for quite a while, and um, a lot of people say good things about you. You're a very generous person. Um, a couple things I noticed with yours, the Blues Traveler vinyl, which is awesome. Now, that original stuff anywhere in that era is hard to find. Um, it reminded me of a time I went to the Ultimate 90s uh, alternative lineup, which was uh, Blues Travelers, uh, Collective Soul, and Live all together. Uh, a few years back, like 2007. It was a great, great show. Um, maybe it was 2009, but man, it was great. So, Andy's, born. that's when you were born. Daddy was out at concerts. You're being born. All right, up next, we have Daddy Sensei Silver. This is Lou. Lou, I think, musical taste-wise, that you and I would have been the most similar. I could totally have pulled all of the exact same albums you did and been like, yep, those are my collection, and those represent those well to me. Obviously, you have a love uh, for the police, which is awesome. Uh, but just following your stuff all the way through, you had really, really good taste in music. That White Stripes album was one that, before the arenas were playing it, I played that in my car all the time. Um, in college, I remember that, that album coming out. And this was before... Alex, don't do that. This was before... See? Hold on now. This is a rigged system. He didn't want to listen to me. We got all three of them in there? All right. This is when, um, before they were this big name so anyway good job thank you for submitting that daddy sensei silver man i hope you guys can see this all right I, it looks blurry to me i don't know if i can make it any better but um we'll drop that one in hold the hat out all right Bye. up next we have mark p and his submission thank you um only one with saturday night fever the only one that did it but this guy is very well versed. He knows his stuff. He does his research. I really enjoyed um, following following his. Mark Pete, thank you. Um, and some of this was, I didn't even know some of you were watching the channel and enjoying it. Um, and I know some of it's a contest and especially one that's easier to do. But I really do appreciate you watching my stuff. This is, um, I don't know how you guys are, but whatever you have going on in your life. Um, vlogging has been a great way to just like, focus on the things some of the things that you have that are going well and so um really appreciate it didn't mean to get too sentimental mark p thank you uh for being a part of that all right hold it out here alex just a couple more buddy hold it out so they can see all right you guys are like this is the most rigged thing ever it's not it's not vinyl victim vinyl victim we've been uh we're we're both kind of newbies here to the uh, vinyl community um and i believe you say your name's brett or brad but i think it's brett i'm going with brett very knowledgeable, great stuff. And this guy had an offspring uh, vinyl. I think it was a box set. It was awesome. Um, super impressed with it. Uh, but just as you follow through there, it was making, I mean, it was just a really good submission. I asked for five minutes. He's like, it might be 10, 22, 23 minutes. I watched the whole thing, though. I watched the whole thing. But thank you for taking the time to fill that out, Vinyl Victim. Check out these channels um, if you get a chance. You won't be disappointed. I have watched, uh, a, there's, Two of these that I hadn't watched before, but I've been watching them ever since they uploaded or commented. Um, so check them out. And then finally, Haley Brennan, thank you. Thank you. Now, Haley, um, I went to that John Mayer concert that you just shot videos of, but I went in Columbus, Ohio last week. Wasn't that an incredible show? And one of the cool things that happened um, at that one was during the encore, he didn't play Gravity, which is one of my favorite guitar solos just for the simplicity and the voicing and the phrasing of the guitar i think it's just beautifully done it's tasteful he didn't do it and i'm bummed out because he brings a piano out but out walks dave Chappelle, and he just hung out on the stage with us so i don't know if that happened years but he lives in ohio not far from where i live 
And he came out and did this whole tribute for Charlie Murphy. And, you know, John Mayer's been a part of the Dave Chappelle show, our Chappelle show. So that was really cool. But anyway, Haley goes to a lot of concerts. She has great musical taste. And she approached, um, Haley Brennan approached, man, I got fat figures you guys cannot see. Boom, that's better. Um, she uh, approached everything from a cultural perspective. So you're looking at culturally what's happening and why these albums were so influential. So anyway, thank you guys. I love you. Thanks for watching. Um, I have a lot more updates coming up, and I need to start thinking about 200 subs. And one of the ideas I had, I might shoot a parody video, but what I need to know is are people going to get really upset with this? So I had the idea, hey, Alex, you can come over here, but don't you just start photobombing. See, he has his own channel. If you have kids that love Pokemon card pack openings and video game reviews, you need to go to AC OC. That's the channel, space right? Space and then OC. There's a, sorry, AC space OC. That's the channel. That's enough advertising for right now, Alex. All right. But um, what was I trying to say? Oh, I was thinking about doing a parody of a lot of the people that have been around the VC for a while. I don't know if they would get upset, but that's kind of the fun is if you like are so pinpoint that, like I'm thinking, Derek Higgins, I love you, but man, I would love to do an impersonation. Me, Mr. Mayo. Um, there's so many of you guys where I just have watched so many hours of Vinyl Community that I think I could pull it off. I'll make a lot of people laugh. I don't know if you'll like it if I pick you, but I might still do it anyway. Um, maybe I'll send you a record to make up for it. I don't know. But anyway, I'm thinking about doing a parody video up soon. Maybe I'll do my own music Monday. Put on a cowboy hat, Billy. It could happen. It could happen. All of these things could happen. Um, but uh, anyway, all right, I'm rambling at this point. It's time for us to pick a winner. See, they're all in here. They're all folded up. Hold on, Alex. Hold on. You got to build the suspense. A drum roll, please, Alex. Drum roll. A one-handed. You ever wonder what a one-handed drum roll sounds like? Louder. All right, Alex. No peeking. Just grab one. Don't grab more than one. Which one did you pick? All right, Daddy. hold up, hold it up to the... Lou with Daddy Sensei Silver, you are a winner of $30 in Amazon. What are you gonna do now? That was awkward. Okay guys, I'm gonna be off here. Uh, Lou, send me a message with your uh, address or if you want me to email it to you and this week I'll be sending out $30 in Amazon for you. And thank you, everyone that that uh, took part in the contest. Love you guys. And here's to another year of uh, spinning. <laughs>